Hi, Tubman family, it's Miss Muhammad, and I'm here to share a read aloud with you in honor of Black History Month and Black Lives Matter Month at Tubman. Now, today's story is called This is the Rope, written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by James Ransom. This is the Rope is the story of one family's journey north during the Great Migration. It begins with a little girl in South Carolina who finds a rope under a tree one summer. She has no idea the rope will become part of her family's history. When she grows up and moves to New York City, she passes down the rope to her daughter and then her granddaughter. The rope helps each young girl make new memories through everything from jump rope games to family reunions. As we listen to the story, I want you to think about why the family kept the rope for so long. What do you think it means to them? Let's get started. Now, before we read the story, we're going to read the author's note because it'll help us understand the author's family experience during the Great Migration. Author's note. My mother arrived in New York City by bus in 1968. There she joined her sister, Caroline, who had left South Carolina four years earlier. In 1969, my uncle Robert joined his older sisters in the small apartment they rented in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn. In late 1970, after the death of my grandfather, my grandmother joined her children up north. My mother had by then moved to a larger place in the Bushwick section of Brooklyn. This area of Brooklyn, I would later learn, was settled by a group of Dutchmen, including Jan Francisco, who had once been enslaved but worked to buy his freedom. For many years, my mother would rent this apartment in Bushwick. Eventually, she would own the building. Like many African Americans migrating north during this period, my mother's dream was to one day own her own home. Between 1968 and 1970, my sister, brothers, and I traveled back and forth between South Carolina and New York. It wouldn't be until many years later that I learned we were part of a long history. From the early 1900s until the mid 1970s, more than 6 million African Americans moved from the rural South to Northern cities. The cities included Chicago, Los Angeles, and of course, my own beloved New York City. We came for better jobs, better treatment, better education, and better lives. This movement of Blacks from the South to the North would become known as the Great Migration. And while my mother and grandmother held fast their memories of the South, their Southern accents remained with them both until their passing. They had dreams for us that only the freedom of the North could make true. This is the rope is a work of fiction. The rope we brought to this new country was hope. It remains with us, JW. This book is dedicated to the more than 6 million African Americans who left the unjust conditions of the South for a better life in the North from the early 1900s until the 1970s. My mother and grandmother were among them. I thank you all for your courage and for making a way out of no way, JW. In memory of Isle de Graff, who will always be remembered as silly and strong with a get up and go spirit to fly, 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 JR. This is the rope my grandmother found beneath an old tree a long time ago, back home in South Carolina. This is the rope my grandmother skipped under the shade of a sweet smelling pine. This is the rope my grandfather used to tie the few things they owned to the top of a car that drove my grandmother, who was a mother now from South Carolina all the long way to a place called New York City. This is a rope my grandmother held tight to as my grandfather drove real slow past the people and big city buildings that seemed to go on and on. This is the rope my grandmother used to dry the sweet smelling flowers she grew in small window boxes, reminding her of the flowers back home where the land, she said, went on and on. This is the rope my grandfather strung so that my mama's diapers could blow dry in the hot city breeze. And this is the rope my mama tied around a small ducky's neck, then pulled it along, singing quack, quack, quack. 
This is the rope my mama held out to the girls on the block, her new Brooklyn block, a home of their own that they finally owned. Mama asked shyly, anybody want to play? This is the rope my mama first tripped on as she sang with her friends. Miss Lucy had a baby, she named him Tiny Tim. This is the rope Mama's brothers took from her room for some crazy game that little boys play. This is the rope my Mama found again, 10 years later when my grandfather, when my grandfather said, we need a bit of rope to tie these things down inside this here car, like that rope we used to have from back home. Then he drove with my mama off to a college far away from the city, while up at the window, my grandmother waved. This is the rope my mama placed on the piano around family photos and me just a baby and then a bit bigger, already reaching for it. This is the rope my daddy used when he showed me the way to tie a sailor's knot two times around and pull it real tight. You want whatever you make or do in your life, my daddy said, to last. This is the rope my mama turned as she waved to my daddy and taught me to sing the Miss Lucy song out on our sidewalk right here in Brooklyn, just last Friday night. This is the rope that held up the sign saying, we are all family at our picnic reunion in the big park up the street from our home. This is the rope threadbare and graying that I traded with grandma for a brand new one. Then I jumped a new jump. B, my name is Beatrice. I come from Brooklyn. As my family smiled proudly and the sun began setting as grandma held onto her rope from back home. And her long ago memory of sweet smelling pine. What does a family take with them? on their journey to a new beginning. Okay, friends, now in the story, the author treasures a rope because it has been in her family across generations and with them through very important times in their lives. Think about your own family. Is there an item that your family cherishes like the author's rope? If you feel comfortable, share with your class. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Have a wonderful day.